you've ever dreamt of hunting dinosaurs when you were a little kid, like I did, and... Don't you want to leave a taste of the glory? See what it tastes like! Then you're going to want to book a flight to Florida and go iguana hunting. And believe me, right now, I wish I was back there. Welcome y'all to another one of my videos. Today I'll be sharing with you two of my favorite tiny air rifles, which are the Brocock Ghost Carbine and the American Air Arms Evil Mini. Um, I'll share some basic specs with you and then we'll get to the good stuff where I take it um, hunting for invasive species down in Florida. Now for this specific hunt, I did tune down both air rifles uh, to be sub 20 foot pounds. And I did that for four reasons. Number one, I wanted the rifle to be as quiet as possible. Number two, I wanted the highest shot count possible. Number three, I wanted to avoid um, any ricochets due to the location of where we're hunting. And number four, I wanted to see, is it possible um, to ethically harvest the game that we were after with a sub 20 foot pound platform? And I'll let you guys be the judge of that. And with that said, let's get to it. The length of this particular ghost carbine is just over 30 inches, which of course includes this zero dB moderator. With all the accessories you see here, this rifle comes in at 11 and a half pounds. In 177, this well-made aluminum magnetic magazine holds 13 pellets. How I chose to tune this rifle, it is giving me 130 shots per fill. Now a sweet feature about this rifle and its magazine system is you are allowed to magnetically connect the two magazines, which will give you a total of 26 shots in 177. The cocking effort comes in at 4.5 pounds. And lastly, the trigger cleanly breaks at 24 ounces. With the adjustable stock completely extended, this Evil Mini comes in at 31 and a half inches. With the scope, scope rings and bipod, this rifle weighs 8.8 .8 pounds. The cocking effort to this rifle breaks at 9 pounds. Now amazingly, straight from the factory, this trigger breaks at 8 ounces. The Evil come with a well-made aluminum magazine and in 22 hold 11 shots. The way I chose to tune this tiny rifle I am getting close to a hundred shots per fill. Another neat feature about this rifle is the magazine can be ejected and loaded from either side.
Even Mike is there still. Now, not all shots were perfect, and we did hit some challenges. Um, probably one of the most difficult things that we stumbled across were shots that were sub uh, 10 yards, um, which there were quite a few options of, uh, of those kind of shots. Um, the issue was parallaxing. So in the video, you'll see that maybe the reticle looked clear, but when you had a shot that was under 10 yards, and even though your scope, at least the scopes that we had, which was a uh, Hawk, uh, fixed 10 power, and a uh, Super Sniper, um, that said their parallax went down to 10 yards, but we were obviously closer than that, we had uh, a hard time seeing the reticle for our holdover, which kind of forced us to um, guess where to place that shot. Take a look at what I'm talking about. My 10 yards was, I think my 10 yards was negative plus 10. No, no, negative 10. Oh, yeah. Mine's the same thing. So I can't see my fine radical, but, but I can see my thick one. Does that make sense? Mm hmm. I think it's. But it makes it hard to count. Right. Okay. So you got just the parallax. So you can see it and then kind of memorize it. Let's see. Unless you 
take steps back and shoot further so it is 10 yards. Go right over his head. Same place. And I share that with you guys so that you can be prepared on your next adventure. To finish off the video, let's see a few more shots. So what do you guys think? Is a sub 20 foot pound air rifle good enough? Do the pros of it being uh, extremely quiet and a higher shot count out of a uh, lightweight compact air gun possibly outweigh the cons? Now I'm not claiming to be a Turok. iguana hunting expert by any means there's plenty of people out there that have more experience than I do I'm just sharing with you guys the little that I know and I can tell you that if you don't shoot them between the eye and their ear or break their spine that iguana isn't going down on the first shot no matter what caliber you use they're just they're tough creatures and it seems like their uh, nervous system is wired differently Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I got to get back to work before uh, I get in trouble. See you guys on the next one.